hello guys welcome to digital texted in this video i'm going to show you guys how to change your processor this is a trick that works on windows so you can change your processor to whatever it is that you like so we'll be changing our processor to this core i9 9900ks or you could um, also change it to the beast here which is the amd ryzen 9 3900x so this is my current processor here which is um, the Pentium Dolco CPU. I'll be changing it to the Core i9 as I said here, and this change will be permanent, so it won't revert back after you've restarted. So you now click on the start here and you type in reg where your registry editor will pop in here. So you click to open it, but I've already opened it here. So here is my registry editor. So after opening your registry editor, you click on HK local machine and you expand it then you expand hardware you now expand description expand system expand central processor where you will have um, zero in my case i have two zero and one so i'm going to change for zero and i'm going, also going to change for one so for zero here you now click on processor name string here you double click on it then i've already copied the processor name here i think i'll have that in the description below so you copy and um, just paste it here i didn't include the frequency because it's going to use the 2.30 gigahertz either ways so you know okay you click here also process your name paste to change it also click okay so let's check if our change has taken effect so properties will expect the core i9 here so as you can see the core i9 is here by just using at without putting the frequency it uses this one as i said so to make this change permanent all you have to do is you go back to your desktop you create a text document here i prefer to use let's say cpu new you can name it whatever you like so you double click to open the cpu new where you are to copy this text which will be in the description below you copy it and you paste it in your text file so after pasting it you have to change this new processor name to the processor name that you've imputed in the registry there so this is the processor name i've imputed there so i just copy and i paste then you save as cpu new it's saving as text so we have to change this to all files then you click on the name and you add .reg so after adding .reg you just save and it will save to your desktop here is the file here so you go back to your file where you'll have to cut it and paste it in the root of your hard drive you paste it here continue so it has pasted it here then from here you are going to right click then send to desktop where it will create a shortcut for it and here's the shortcut and this shortcut you are to cut it also to this location be very careful from your this pc or my computer you double click on local disks you double click on users make sure you click on view from the menu top menu you click on view here then you toggle hidden files on you check it on so it shows hidden files then after navigating to users you now open your current user account which is Degeregi on my case then I have opened Degeregi from here you click on app data without enabling the show hidden files you won't be able to see app data after opening app data you open roaming from roaming you click on microsoft then you click on windows you now click on start menu where you click on programs and start up so you now paste what you've copied from your desktop here and here is our cpu new shortcut here so we've removed it from the desktop and henceforth we we placed it in our startup folder where it's going to start up automatically and just apply to the registry here so please 
if you find this video tutorial helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up share like and subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to hit the bell icon beside it and turn all notifications so you get notified whenever i upload i love you guys so much to have a nice day